The Wyoming Game and Fish Department is charged with conserving over 600 species of wildlife, which means every so often you get to do a checkup on neat fish like these. Horny head chub, considered a species of concern, live along the Laramie and Sweetwater rivers in Wyoming. In late July, fisheries crews with the Game and Fish Department's Laramie region broke out the electrofishing packs to survey two segments below the tunnel diversion dam on the Laramie River. Biologists are interested in the population of horny head chub in this area after stream flows downstream from here were reduced to zero several times over the past few years. Another reason is to see if non-native smallmouth bass, known to prey on horny head chub, have colonized these stretches. In 2020 and in 21, Game and Fish transplanted horny head chub from the Laramie River to the Sweetwater River in central Wyoming to expand the fish's range. So a third reason is to see if horny head chub numbers are high enough to use as a source population again. Horny head chub numbers in this stretch could be declining. The fish sampled in this section were older, larger adults, suggesting failed recruitment. Downstream from this stretch, though, numbers were much better, with several size classes present and a good number of spawning mounds, indicating consistent reproduction, meaning numbers could be good enough to be reestablished in other tributaries in the area. Another positive sign, good numbers of brassy minnows, common shiners, and Iowa darters were collected. Horny head chub ranges from Wyoming, North Dakota, and South Dakota, east to the Hudson River drainage and south to Oklahoma. They once existed in five different streams in Wyoming, and they're a glacial relic species, one of the rarest fishes in Wyoming. They max out at about five to six inches, and you'll probably never see one served for dinner. The bedazzled bumps on their forehead, called tubercles, form on breeding males and are thought to protect them when building and defending nests. Biologists will conduct more exploratory work to determine how far upstream smallmouth bass have progressed in the Laramie River. The more places this dazzling fish can be established, the more resilient the species will be in Wyoming to disturbances such as fire, drought, and non-native predators. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.